Okay, so you can see why some people would be concerned by the way this is described here. It speaks of a Jesus the Nazarene. Uh, some people have been very concerned about this, and you even find in church history instances where uh, Talmuds were burned. But we have to ask the question, is this actually the Jesus, Jesus the Nazarene that we um, hold to in Christianity, or is this a different Jesus the Nazarene? This may sound like at first, oh, well, you know, this is uh, absurd. Of course, this is referring to the Jesus of the Christians. But actually, if you look at the rest of the Talmud, it's not very clear that this is the Jesus that we Christians um, worship. And, and if, you know, it, it's possible it is, but the way this Jesus the Nazarene is described in many other parts of the Talmud, it does not appear to be. Everything about you is a lie. It wasn't lies, Jen. It was acting. I said, if Michael Lofton continues this path, doesn't rein himself in, he's going to shipwreck his faith, and it's happening. Well, guess what? He just did a session defending the Talmud by denying that the Talmud has negative, critical things to say about Jesus. I often am asked, what do I think about Sam Shamoon and his content? I don't know if I want to watch it, but this precious brother who's reliable did watch it and he sent me a clip. And the comment section, the comment section has gone wild. And I praise the Lord Jesus for the people in the comment section. Well, I have a question for you. What do you think about Sam Shamoon? Why? You'll find diehard Catholics who love the Lord, love the church, calling him out, rebuking him. So I praise God for them that they love the Lord more than they love celebrity figures. Let me show you some videos from Sam. He just did a session, Jesus in the Talmud, where he claims that the Jesus of Nazareth mentioned in the Talmud is not the Jesus of Christianity, the Jesus of New Testament history. It's some other Jesus. He's now seeking try to defend against the assertion that the Talmud says blasphemous things about the Lord and his blessed mother, even though he'll admit that in the Catholic Church, you'll even have authorities, popes, who admit that these statements in the Talmud are about Jesus, which led to the ire of the Catholic Church. He just, I'll give you the link. I'm going to read some of the comments. Here it is. I don't know what's happening to this guy. Two days ago, wasn't yesterday my fault, Jesus and the Talmud. And please be aware some of these clips do contain profanity and also discussion of subject matter that is not appropriate for children. He's getting himself in deep waters and he's going to drown because I'm going to show you this man, Peter Schaefer, right, who wrote Two Gods in Heaven and Jesus and the Talmud. Why in the world would you do a session trying to deny that the Jesus in the Talmud is Jesus Christ, trying to excuse the Talmud's slander and blasphemy of our Lord and his blessed mother, when even bona fide, reputable scholars admit, Peter Schaefer, I'm going to give you his credentials, that yes, that is supposed to be Jesus of the Christian faith, whom the Talmud mocks and ridicules and slanders, as well as his blessed mother. Fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy. Yeah, I know that, Hebrew Catholic. We know that, see? Here you have a former rabbi who's now a devout Catholic who loves the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone even, yeah, someone commented it. I'm going to read some of the comments. Someone commented it saying, he got us 30 pieces of silver. The Catholics are irate. Because they're offended that he would try to deny what even the Catholic Church has recognized are statements about Jesus and the Talmud. I was also told by this reputable brother, reputable brother, that Louis Dizon, 
is not allowed to go on other channels if he wants to frequent Michael Lofton's channel. In fact, you know what he calls his channel now? Have you seen it? If you start playing it, it's the John Michael Lofton show. Here. Let me see that. The Lord saved me from my pride and arrogance and from being fake. He's become a one-man show. He's become his own pope. A public sin is to rebuke publicly. I think it's very clear which one of these Sam exemplifies. The acts of the flesh or the fruit of the Spirit. He's admitting Catholic Church, it would include cardinals, bishops, and popes, have recognized these are statements about Jesus. And Peter Schaefer says, yes, it is about Jesus. It is about Jesus. Look what he's going to say. He's now become an apologist for Jews for Judaism. He's now become an apologist for Jews for Judaism. Is this actually the Jesus, Jesus the Nazarene <laughs> that we Arrogant um, laugh. hold to in Christianity? Or is this a different Jesus, the Nazarene? Can it really this guy? So it says Jesus the Nazarene, but that's not the Jesus that we hold to. Like this guy with a stupid comment. Does he mean that, well, like the Muslims think that Isa's Jesus? No, that's not what he meant. He's saying it's not Jesus. Now, I know that the Jesus of the Quran is not the real Jesus. The Jesus of history is the Jesus of the Gospels. But the Muslims think they're referring to the same Jesus. Likewise, the Jews think they're referring to our Jesus. Okay? Are you with me there? Now, let me tell you about this book. Get it. You serious students of the Bible, get this. Jesus in the Talmud, Peter Schaefer. What is his credentials? He also wrote this book. I've written articles and I did sessions on this book. Peter Schaefer wrote Two Gods in Heaven. Put in Two Gods on my search engine on my blog or here on YouTube. Go watch the sessions and read the articles. He is considered a world-class, bona fide scholar on Judaism. Two gods in heaven. He shows that in Judaism, before, during, after time of Christ, they had a concept of two gods or two powers in heaven. He also wrote this standard work on Jesus and the Talmud. What are his credentials? Okay. What are his credentials? Okay. Here it is. Peter Schaefer... Peter Schaefer, is the R Ronald O. Perchman Professor of Jewish Studies and Professor of Religion Emeritus at Princeton University. Princeton University. His books include The Jewish Jesus, How Judaism and Christianity Shaped Each Other, and The Origins of Jewish Mysticism. Google his name, and you'll be told that he's considered the foremost scholar on Judaism. This is a scholarly work on what the Talmud says about Jesus. And he says it is Jesus. Here. And I'm going to read some of the comments, and we begin. It's not going to take me long. So let's go here. Let's see what he says, all right? All right. Here you go. Right here. Right here. Okay. Page. Seven, introduction. All right. I'm going to read this. Unlike Meyer, page seven, you see it? You guys listening, right? I hope you're not bored. We're going to get into the meat of the matter, Sola Fide and the Apostolic Fathers. Unlike Meyer and many of his predecessors, I start with the deliberately naive assumption that the relevant sources do refer to the figure of Jesus unless proven otherwise. The burden's on you to disprove this. Hence, I put the heavier burden of proof on those who want to decline the validity of the Jesus passages. See? More precisely, I do not see any reason why the Tanaitic, 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 ah, these words, Jesus ben Patera, Pandera, Jesus, son of Pantera, Bandera, and Ben Stada, son of Stada, passages, should not refer to Jesus. And I will justify this claim in the book. I'm going to prove it is about Jesus. Because Pandera is a play on the word Parthenos. So they would make fun of Jesus. 
Instead of saying he's the son of the virgin, Parthenos, he's the son of a Roman soldier named Pandera. Ironically, Origen, in his refutation of Celsus, the Greek pagan who wrote a book attacking Christianity, he said the rumor was that Mary sired Jesus by getting pregnant by a Roman soldier named Pandera. Right? Origen mentions that rumor already circulating in his time, late 2nd century, early 3rd century. And in the Talmud, Jesus is called the son of Pandera, mocking the fact that he's the son of the virgin, Parthenos, and insinuating that a Roman soldier sired him. Right? So he will justify that it's Jesus. All right. Now look what he says here, page 9. Page 9. Okay? Look what it says. He's giving a summation of what the Talmud says about Jesus. They ridicule Jesus' birth from a virgin, as maintained by the Gospels Matthew and Luke, and they contest fervently the claim that Jesus is Messiah and the Son of God, but most remarkably, they counter the New Testament passion story with its message of the Jews' guilt and shame as Christ killers. Instead, they reverse it completely. Yes, they maintain we accept responsibility. The Talmud says, yeah, we killed Jesus. They admit, we killed Jesus. We accept responsibility for it, but there is no reason to feel ashamed. The Talmud says, we're not ashamed of it. Why? Because we rightfully executed a blasphemer and idolater. Jesus deserved death, and he got what he deserved. So you can see it right there. Page 9, right? Let it stay there for a minute and read it. But Michael often, who thinks he's a scholar, who's shipwrecking his faith, thinks he knows better. Uh, not only that he overcomes the sins of the flesh, but also... Guy's a joke, folks. Stay away from him. Catholics pray he repents and warn, this guy is dangerous. He's become too big for his britches, and he thinks he's God's gift to the church. Here's what Sailor Sabul says. The fact that they describe Jesus incorrectly to downplay his importance doesn't mean that isn't our Jesus. Exactly. They could just be misrepresenting Jesus. Okay, now look what this man says. Nick Simmons, 1305. Well, I actually heard from Jews that worship of Jesus consider idolatry to them. So yes, in their view... Jesus may very well have been an idolater. It wouldn't surprise me if some details were smudged on purpose to conceal what they mean. I would prefer to trust Pope Gregory IX on the subject. I'd rather go to Pope Gregory what he said instead of you. Now, this one was really uh, in the heart. Look what this guy said. Dude got us 30 pieces of silver. <whistles> Edward Zachary one day ago. Dude got his 30 pieces of silver. Okay. Okay, now watch here. Now look at this brilliant comment. Brilliant. And then we'll be a few more are going to begin. Look at this. Circus 19 hours ago. The Quran has conflicting details about Jesus, but no one assumes it's talking about a different Jesus. You see how he buried him? Brilliant observation. So, Michael, are you not going to say that Muslims are not talking about the Jesus you believe in because the details about that Jesus differ? Brother, I have that on my wall. I have it right on my wall. I'll show it to you later. You see it? All right, one more comment, a couple more, and then we're going to begin. So I just want to bring it to your attention. I said this man's going to hijack and shipwreck his faith and the faith. Now look what this person says, Sparkle Knits. I used to listen to this channel regularly, but the tone has changed in recent years. Reading through the comments makes me sad since Michael's response to people disagree with him, even respectfully, seems so disdainful and petty. He doesn't engage with the arguments people are making. Just tells them they're mad because they don't like his facts. Very dismissive. Now watch this. And then that's it. I, you can read it. The backlash is praiseworthy. Lord bless you. This whole video was cold. 
And I would expect this from Tovia Singer, not you, nor a Christian for that matter. So there you go. There you go, guys. We're done with him. That's it. So I just wanted to bring your attention. Oh, beautiful, Kennedy. Kenny, I'm going to make you one of my mods. I know a lot, a lot of people have uh, debates about SSP. I don't know. But Kennedy, I'm going to make you a mod, all right? Yep, he is an enemy. He doesn't. He thinks he's helping the church. He's not. He's 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 actually condemning the church. He's indirectly helping to destroy the credibility of the church. Yet he's thinking he's doing God a favor. Okay.